Hello viewers, in this video we are going to talk about certification and compatibility metrics of Oracle products. You might already know how critical it is to verify the certification and compatibility metrics while planning to install a new or upgrade an existing Oracle product. Say you want to install an Oracle product like Oracle Enterprise Manager or Oracle RDBMS Software or Oracle eBusiness Suite. How you will find out if the version of the product that you are going to install is compatible with the operating system or the platform or another piece of software that must be running for the new product to work. One way to find this out is to search in Google for the compatibility metrics and you will definitely find some documentations about the product you are looking for. But the best way to find this out is to go to my Oracle support and in the first place go to the certifications tab and in the product box type in the name of the product that you are looking for. Say enterprise manager base platform. Next you select the release and here for us it's 13.4 select the platform as any and then search and it will give a list of all the compatibility and certification related information for example what operating systems are compatible with OEM version 13.4 that is HP UX Itanium, IBM AIX, Linux 64-bit, Microsoft Windows all this information you'll be able to find here now if you want to see more information about what version or releases of Linux 64-bit are supported by OEM 13.4 then you can see those details here for example say 9 versions of Linux 64-bit are supported which are SUSE Linux 15, SUSE Linux 12, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8, 7 and 6, Oracle Linux 8, 7 and 6. Similarly if you want to see which version of the agents are compatible with OEM 13.4, you will see this information here. Say there are three releases 13.4, 13.3, and 13.2 agents are compatible with OEM 13.4. And say what databases are compatible with OEM 13.4, you will be able to see a lot of information here. For example, say if you want to see which database targets can be managed by OEM 13.4, in this line you see that there are six releases starting with. Oracle 11.204, you can manage up to Oracle 21c. Similarly, if you want to see which version of Oracle database can be used as a repository of OEM 13.4, you see that the Oracle database repository in this line, there are four releases that is supported, that is 12.1, 12.2, 18, and 19c. Clear this search. Now let's take another example of OEM agents. Say your OEM version is 13.2 and you are planning to upgrade your OEM system to 13.5. But you don't know whether after upgrading the OMS to 13.5, your existing agents in the version 13.2 are going to work with the new OMS version or not. Because we always upgrade the agents later than the OMS and we don't want our monitoring to break. So it is always wise to check the certifications first. To check that out, we selected the Enterprise Manager Base Platform Agents and say our release is 13.2. So select it here and then keep the platform as any and click search. And here we can see again a lot of information starting with the operating system. And here after expanding this management and development tools, we see the first line that says that Enterprise Manager Base Platform OMS, the 13.2 agents are supported by three versions here, starting with 13.2, 13.3, and 13.4. So, if we install 13.5 version of OMS, that is not going to support your existing 13.2 agents. And because of that incompatibility, you have to plan accordingly. Now, let's take another example of say Oracle RDBMS 21C. So we type in Oracle Database and then we select the release as 21 and we'll see 
which operating system is supported by the Oracle 21C. Click on the search button and then it's going to give us a lot of information. So we see here that the operating system supported for Oracle 21C is Linux 64-bit and Microsoft Windows 64-bit. It means that any other versions of the operating system like say AIX, HP UX, etc. are not yet certified with the Oracle 21C. So this is one central place where you can validate certification and compatibility metrics of any Oracle products before you start installing it. So viewers, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Please hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss an episode in this series for the Oracle DBS or similar educational videos that I am uploading every week.